Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 87 for 4. So today, guys, we're talking to you guys about uh, Drew and Augustman getting sacked and Thomas Tuchel being the replacement. So, guys, it is official. It is official, okay? Now, I'm going to give you guys my quick takes on this, whether Bayern is going to regret this decision or not and whether Tuchel is the right guy for the job. For me, the Nagelsmann's thing. Uh, it's a bit of a bold decision. Now, for me personally speaking, I do believe he should have got sacked, and I don't think the sacking is wrong. It's just the timing is really bad because we're right now pretty much the tail end of March. Bayern, there's no more club games until April. And basically, you have around two months for the season. You know, and I always said to myself, if Bayern is going to sack Julian Augustman, it'll probably be because Bayern don't win the Bundesliga title. Which they very well may not this season. Because this, even though Bayern are, have been good this season, this Bayern team doesn't look as good as the teams under the past. You know, under Jörg Hankis, under Hansi Flick, even under um, uh, Carlo Ancelotti. You know, and I just think that for me, for Bayern in particular, they're making a huge decision. And for Joe and Augustman in particular, am I surprised? I'm not as surprised as many people may appear to be. Because my the thing with Nagelsmann is that he doesn't really have in-game management. His in-game management is very questionable. He makes a lot of questionable substitutions. And a lot of the substitutions he makes is just a bit odd, you know? As well as the fact that Bayern is completely playing a new formation. Typically, Bayern play like a 4-2-3-1. That's been the main formation under Hansi Flick and etc. And now they're playing a 3-4-3, 3-4-2-1. As some kind of variation of that. Basically, three at the back. And it's just not been working out. And obviously, they just come off the loss against Bayer Leverkusen on the weekend. And I just think that for me, there's so much immense pressure upon this. Because Bayern have really two big games coming up after the break. They have Dortmund at home, and then they have Man City in the Champions League. And that Man City game is very, very crucial. All right? Because there is a possibility that they could have lost to Der Klassiker. Especially at home, it would have been embarrassing. Because... Obviously, last year, a classic that happened this season, Dortmund actually came from 2-0 down to get a 2-2 draw against Bayern at their stadium. So, you know, I think that maybe they're thinking about the Dirk classic they have that in mind that, hey, we might lose this Dirk classic right? Now, Thomas Tuchel, for me, is a great manager. He's a fantastic manager. I think his tactical acumen is very good. And we saw what he did at Chelsea in the short term. He was able to guide Chelsea to their second-ever Champions League win. As well as the fact that he solidified them getting top four this season after the disastrous job Frank Lampard did in the first half of the season. Because I can assure you, if Frank Lampard had remained coach for Chelsea, Chelsea do not get top four. Chelsea do not win the Champions League. Okay, so I think it's very, very evidently clear that Thomas Tuchel is guided. Is I think Thomas Tuchel was mainly brought in, not for the Bundesliga titles per se, but more so because of the Champions League. Because Bayern haven't won the Champions League in a while now. Last time they won it was 2020. And they want to win another Champions League title. They want to win it. And they know themselves the last couple of Champions League things could have been... They should have done better. Last season, they should have made the semifinals. The season before, they should have really made the semifinals. They haven't made a semifinals ever since they won the Champions League. And I just think that for me, for Bayern Munich in particular, their standards is very high. They're, they're one of the biggest clubs in the world. Their standards is super, super high. And I'm really interested to see how Thomas Tuchel approaches this Bayern job and how he'll approach that Dirk Klassiker one. Because obviously... He's a former Dortmund coach as well. And then obviously against Man City, we know what he did against Man City. He got three wins on, against Man City in a single season, which is pretty remarkable to say the least. So, like I said before, guys, is Tuchel the right guy for the replacement? I would say so. I think Tuchel is the right replacement for Nagelsmann. And I'm still not sure if the Nagelsmann being sacked is the right decision or not. So, that's my two cents anyways on this matter. Um, we have a live stream tomorrow. We'll maybe discuss briefly about that, upon that tomorrow because we're going to have a Namor situation story, a Namor discussion about his career as a whole, and I definitely have some interesting stuff to say, and we're going to probably talk about Tuchel anyway there, because obviously Tuchel and Namor, they used to um, be, for, uh, you know, Tuchel used to be Namor's coach, you know, so it's going to be interesting, we'll probably talk more about that tomorrow, so anyways, if you made it this far, please let me know in the comment section below, like, and like I said before guys, please like the video if you didn't enjoy, subscribe if you're new out here, comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below, and once again guys, Comment down below, is this the right decision Byron's making? Let me know as well, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Also, check out me about other platforms listed in the description below. Also, um, consider becoming a member of the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.